Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Microsoft Flight Simulator. And with so many applications, add-ons, tools, services, and things that we need to run and do in the background before we even get started with our flight, I figured I would show you guys a real quick way to create a file that will open all of your tools and, and uh, applications in one click. If you are interested in acquiring any of my Overkill's tutorial guides or simply interested in supporting the channel, please consider joining me on Patreon. Patreon subscribers level tier two and above have access to all of my guides as well as any future guides that come along down the road. Patreon link can be found in the description below and thank you to all of my current subscribers. Okay, guys, so as I stated, you know, especially with any kind of simulation or any game, you know, th there's always tons of apps that we have running in the background, you know, especially with gaming turning into what it is today and simulation turning into what it is today. You know, oftentimes you have specific software that controls your controllers or Discord or Track IR or uh, Navigraph and Spadnext and Steam and, uh, you know, blah, blah, blah. I mean, it just goes on and on and on, you know, with us and Microsoft Flight Simulator, FS Kneeboard, you know, the... Uh, uh, what's the, what's the other ones that we use? Uh, you know the sky pads and the fly pads and the all the different freaking applications that we have for the sim. It can get pretty annoying sometimes, and this is why I find myself you know getting frustrated. Is sometimes it's you know five six seven minutes just by the time that you're done clicking through everything and, and getting everything up and running in order to run the sim. So what I'm going to do today, guys is I'm gonna show you how to create what we call a bat file or batch file. Now, if you guys are already familiar with this and you're comfortable with it and, and you know you, you know how to do it, maybe you've already got it in place, you know, feel free to skip this ahead or you know skip this video. But I think a lot of people refrain from these kind of things because they think it's hard to do. Oh, it's coding. It's really not. Like, I mean, it is, but it isn't. It's a very, very simple process to do. As you can see, you just need a standard text document. That's all this is. It's just a right click on your desktop, new, text document right here you know you can use notepad plus plus whatever you want to do you know but i'm going to show it in its simplest form here okay so the first thing that we're going to do to get this thing started is i'm going to set it up to where it launches the simulator and then i'm going to get it to where it's you know i'm just going to pick some you know four or five apps at random that you know we'll have it open so that way you guys can see the principle of how it works now there's two different ways that we can do this i'm going to show you guys a way to also keep things very organized and we're going to call this just shortcuts and and you can put this again anywhere you want any folder you want however you want to get to it okay we're just keeping this simple so you can do a couple of different things so when it comes to your apps all right well first let's start with microsoft flight simulator microsoft flight simulator is always in a goofy spot so what i recommend you doing is taking you know your start menu button here do a right click on it and do create shortcut now it's going to tell you that it can't be placed on the taskbar. So would you like to put it on the desktop instead? Tell it yes. All right. And of course that put it on a monitor that I did not want it to be on. So let me find the one that it needs to be. I believe it's that one. Nope. That's elite dangerous. You guys have to forgive me. It's on a completely different screen at the moment. There it is. My blind eyes. Okay. So then from here, what we can do is we're going to control and shift and right click so hold control hold shift right click and you guys can see copy as path if you do not do control shift and right click holding all three or clicking all three at the same time you will not see copy as path so hold control while holding control hold shift while holding control and shift right click okay I made that as simple as I can and you can do copy as path now we're gonna come over here we're gonna start our file the first line that you want to type is simply at sign echo off. And what will that what that will do is prevent any prompts or anything like that from popping up on the screen and any delays. It will just continue. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to do start. Obviously, that's the command that we want it to do. We're going to do two quotation marks side by side. Boom, boom, just like that. And then you can either right click and hit paste. Or if you guys know the, the shortcut control V, you can paste it in. And that's it. Now we're going to come down and find our next one. 
Now this is where you can do a couple of different things. This is why we created our shortcuts folder. So I'm gonna go into where I have most of my applications. Well, actually, let's start with the one that I always forget. Which one do I always say, guys? Give me a second while we start the head tracker, right? Every freaking video. So let's come down here. I'm gonna find open track. There's my open track. Now I can do one of two things. I can either A, control, shift, right click, okay, and same thing, copy as path. Or you can see I have it down on my toolbar, or I can do a right click like this if you wanna keep everything in the same directory, okay, and I can do, where is it? Create shortcut, okay, and it's gonna put on the desktop. Let me go and get it, it put it on the other one, okay, so there it is. I'm gonna drop it in that folder, okay? And then in this folder, now we're gonna do control, right, shift, or control, hold, shift, and then open file, or not open file location, copy as path, okay? And we're gonna do the same thing. Start, whack, whack, boom. Now, you don't have to do a shortcut. You can do it from any directory. We could have done it from, you know, right here if we wanted to. We could do it directly from here. Copy as path, okay? We can grab that and do that instead. It's totally up to you. But it, the thing about creating shortcuts is it makes it easier to just have them all in one location. That way you know it's part of your bat file. But it's totally up to you. Um, I typically don't do it, okay? But I just wanted to give you guys another way of organizing things where it makes sense in your minds. So again, let's grab a couple more now. Uh, for example, one of the ones that's a real pain in the butt actually is Navigraph. So we're gonna right click on Navigraph and Actually, what I need to do is I'm gonna, there we go. So control, I held control, I hit right shift. Okay, and I'm gonna do copy as path again. And again, from any location that you guys need to do it, you can do it. So you can see there, that's where the shortcut is under the taskbar. So as long as I don't remove it from the taskbar, this will work. If I ever take this off of the taskbar, unpin it, this particular portion will break. But I'm just showing you guys this for demonstration purposes. So let's go in and find another app. So if I go back to my apps and games, I go to applications, Neofly. And we're gonna do the same thing, control shift, right click. Oh, I didn't click on it, there we go. Copy as path. And we're gonna do the same thing. Start, whack whack, and paste it in, okay? So multiple directories, multiple locations, same directory, same locations, it really does not matter. So the only thing next that we're gonna do is we're gonna do file. I do recommend saving just the text file and you can see I've got it right here, okay? So I'm just gonna hit save. But I'm also, now we're gonna create a batch file. So we're gonna do save as. And the desktop is fine for our demonstration purposes but the, here's where this gets, you know, you gotta pay attention. Change text documents to all files and come over here, and we're going to now change the name to msfs and apps dot b a t. That's it, that's all we need. Press enter, and yes, there was one already existing because I was messing around with it earlier, obviously. And now let me go back and get it. Yep. And this is the icon that you should be presented with. Now I can minimize all this, and if I simply double click, There's Navigraph, there's my track IR, there's Neofly, and if you guys look down here, the sim is launching, it's just on my primary display. It'll be up on this screen in just a second here. But just like we wanted, there's track IR, or my track IR, my Navigraphs, and everything else that we had selected. I'm gonna actually close this because I'm not going to be flying at the moment. And there is the simulator, launching up as designed. So you can do this and you can make these infinitely long. Um, just remember to get the syntax correct. Remember to do in all files um, and uh, save it as a bat. And But uh, you can do it from shortcuts. You can do it from uh, the EXEs inside the, the actual installation folders. However you wanna do it, you can do it any way, okay? Um, just make sure that you get the syntax right. Make sure you do the echo off or it could take a very long time for them to start. Um, and make sure you get the uh, quotes in. And remember, hold control, hold shift, right click on the EXE that you're wanting to copy, and then copy as path. 
Anyways, guys, not a very long tutorial. I hope you guys found this useful. As always, stay safe and healthy, and I'll see you in the next one.